what will be your reaction after you've had a very, very, very big fight with a friend of yours? Or not so much of a friend, <laughs> and you meet for the first time at an event. Would you be able to warm up to the person immediately, or you are going to go into the ignore mode? Yes, welcome to the review of the episode 9 and 10 of The Real Housewives of Lagos. My name is Beverly Langdon. Thank you for joining me. If you are new, do well to subscribe. And if you are a regular, thank you for taking the time to watch this. So in the episode 8, as we all saw, we saw Iyabo's good intention, 10 star. She brought the girls together to, you know, discuss their issues and so they were able to work together and then have fun as girls and friends. But wigs were flying, tops were going off, water was splashing here and there. And, you know, it just went down to drain. The fight between Carolina and Laura was so fierce that, you know, it was sad at the same time. But then it happened. And in the episode 9, um, Iyabo was organizing a birthday party for her daughter who had turned a year older. She invited all the girls of course and at the party I think that was the first time the girls met again after the fight and so um, Laura comes in she ignores Carolina she says hello to Marianne she sits down Carolina ignores Laura just then then and you know, they, they go on. I mean, I don't blame the two of them. I mean, you've had the fights. We are not so much of a friend. Like, I don't like you, you don't like me. They've made that very clear. They are not friends. They don't like each other. But then, they won't pretend. I mean, it, w it would have been very, like, hypocritical of Laura to come in and just say hello to Carolina and, you know, try to vibe with her and all that. It would have been the same on the side of Carolina if she had tried to warm up to her. They would have been pretending. You and I know that. No argument about that and so they ignored each other and then Laura went around say hello to people she knew there and then blah 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 then Laura left quite early because I mean you can't blame her she can't pretend to be having fun at an event after she's had a very big fight and this probably was their first meeting right and so she couldn't pretend she was like I have to leave my husband is waiting for me which she said was a lie so yeah she left early Iaba was like why are you leaving early you want drama but i mean you can't really blame her she's had enough she's had a very big fight she's not spoken to carolina about it she hasn't apologized carolina hasn't apologized and so you know having her then and trying to pretend to have fun with all of them was going to be like too much for her and she had to go home she decided to go home and she went i think well, in her mind she just had to come because Yahweh invited her because it's her daughter's birthday so you know she had to just come just as a sign of respect to Yabo, right so she did that and i mean everyone should just leave laura alone for doing that now um shoma comes in with a gift to her twinny and you know the girls had fun and all that now tiana is going to have a 40th birthday party so she organized this um traditional party invited the girls to look traditional which they did they slayed elegance oh my goodness they came they looked great and again laura and carolina were not speaking to each other they couldn't vibe you can't blame them they've had a very big fight i think this could be the biggest fight of their life they've had that fight and it's not easy just trying to warm up to someone you fought that much with okay so but then <laughs> laura just separated herself from the girls and the girls would just be having fun and you know, even at Tiana's party, she, it, it was the same. She was just sitting somewhere secluded, and Carolina and the other girls were having fun. They were playing the game, you know, it was just fun, but Laura secluded herself. In the episode 10, she kept complaining about the fact that um, the girls are taking sides with Carolina. But I don't see it that way. I think the girls are just vibing, and Carolina happens to be there, and she vibes along with them. And so if Laura wants to vibe with the girls, then she also has to what? vibe along you don't the girls are not going to go the extra mile to bring the vibes to you when you are the cause of the problem you get it so if laura wants to vibe with the girls she has to work on that she has to make that step she has to take that initiative she i think laura is just sitting there she wants the girls to you know bring the fun to her she wants the girls to respond positively to her but she's moody she's moody she's not having it she's not having fun and the girls don't want to make the trip about her because it's tiana's fortified her 40th birthday is coming and she doesn't want any drama but then laura is there and she says she wants to like warm up to the girls but 
they are not warming up to her and they are not paying attention to her and she needs attention and she's being ignored and I'm like girl there has been a fight you have issues with almost everyone Marion for one wasn't happy that you went to her house you know do what you did with the food and blah 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 and go moody and all that you didn't apologize to her she asked that you apologize to her when you said you were going to apologize <laughs> and even Laura said Tiana just wanted attention so she just had to apologize you know those kind of things that she says the girls know that the apologies are not genuine and they don't buy into it so even when she tried to apologize at the table you know Chioma said she wasn't she, she didn't buy it yeah bosses she also didn't buy it because they know Laura they know what she can do and so you know she just apologizing so that they could vibe on and then just like have fun at the trip which you don't really really can't blame them because like they've had enough but I think on Laura's part, she wants to vibe with the girls, but then she has to make that step. She has to take that initiative because the girls have had enough. It's been fights here and there. And she even blames Tony. Tony has taken the side of the girls and Tony is vibing so much with Marion and the girls and Tony has ignored her and a lot of complaints here and there and here and there and here and there. Please, you ladies are grown adults. You wrong somebody, you don't want to apologize, but you want to have fun with the girls. I mean, when they were going to safari, in the back, she was the only person at the back, and the girls were in the middle and dancing. If you want to dance, get up and dance. If you want to vibe with the girls, show that you are trying, but you don't show that you are trying, but you just complain, and you know, the girls just get tired. If they are tired of Laura, they're absolutely tired. Yeah, both for one side, yeah, was a very nice person. But she's tired, like she's had it, she's had enough. And she's not going to buy, she's just going to respond to the energy that you bring to her. And I think, I mean, she wants peace of mind, so you can't really blame her, okay? And then, um, <laughs> while I was in Dubai, they get to Dubai, they have to choose their rooms. And Marion won the game in episode 8, which means that she has to get the biggest room when they go to Dubai. But Tiana says she's going to share the room with Iyabo. Marion wasn't happy about it. She spoke there and then. She freed her mind there and then, and it ended at that point. It ended there. Tiana got to know that you've not been fair to me, and Marianne said what she wanted to say. She didn't keep it in her. She didn't wait for weeks or months later to you know to bring up the issue. I think that's a problem with Carolina and Laura. They don't speak about their issues. They wait, pile it up, and then it becomes like something very huge. Okay, so that's one of the problems. She said it there and then. But later on, they changed homes. When they went to the penthouse, she got the biggest room as she wanted. She was very excited, hugging um, Tonya. And Laura knew what she was missing. Like, she missed her friendship with Tiana. And she just couldn't have it. She needed to have a conversation with her. And let her know that I miss you. And you are ignoring me. And Tiana also made her know that, no, you wronged me. You have to apologize genuinely. And I know you miss me. You know, they made up. And... It was beautiful to watch so if you wrong someone in a group and if you're in a group and you wrong someone and you want the girls to bring the vibe to you you also have to take the initiative to take the vibe to them apologize genuinely try and work on your friendship with the girls if you really want it you get it so i mean that, that just happened it was just about um reactions after the big fight how to warm up to one so another yeah, that's it about it um we saw snippets of the next episode where carolina and chioma you know i'm like what's happening here when two best friends fight, what you say in confidence to one another just goes out there in the world. So I don't know, what do you think? Who do you think started that fight? Carolina? Chioma? I don't know. Leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching. My name is Bevelyn. Do to subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, we'll see you again when the next episode drops. Bye.